which I invest in. That's correct. That it's simply put. And so that, money folder. It's a money folder. Ooh, I like that. It's Come on, money, money mall. Money folder. Money mall. Money Make it folder. Make it Hey, I like, hey man, with money folder, right? That's kind of like you a ball, like you be folding up money. Hey, I feel you on that, Ma. But so, so investments can be real estate. Mm -hmm. It can be my mutual funds. Right. It can be stocks and bonds. That's right. Uh, could it be? Um, it could be your business. Yeah, I was going to say, could it be businesses? Yeah. Could it yeah. be products and services? Things like that? Is that yeah. all? Yeah, so your business and your products and services, those are together. But this is the thing. So, so one, you have to remember, I'm a revenue growth strategist, right? right? So I teach people how to, to grow their revenue without using their labor. As Especially culturally, we're so addicted to our ability to work. We work hard. We work so hard, right? Why do you think we that? But, but, how, what, how much time we got, Mom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay we got let me ask some. Yeah, let's, let's yeah, talk. For a second. Yeah, let's do it. Why do you think that people work so hard? Well, and it's not. I don't. I don't really think it's a. I believe it's embedded in us. So we we've, we've been the type of culture that since we got here, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, well so I know what you're saying. Work. Since I, we got here, we've work. been workers, and we have to work hard. And mm -hmm. many times, to even prove ourselves in the marketplace, we have to work harder and be better than everyone else. Mm -hmm. So when we look at that perspective, that's okay to work hard. I'm not saying don't be a hard worker. I'm saying don't rely only on your labor to make money. And uh, a lot of times, I, I've been taught, um, even when growing up, it's like, oh, baby, I work for every dime I get. Mm -hmm. Well. I mean, that's cool and it's commendable and you're strong and that's wonderful, but that's not smart. So we need to stop working harder and start working smarter. Smarter, yeah, because that's really the key. Like, we mm -hmm. can brag about how like, I work so many hours and I sleep mm -hmm. this many hours. It's like, dude, you're doing it wrong. Yeah, like, really, like, thank you. Because where the, where the real money, even in the corporate world, like the real money, like those people barely do any labor. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's more based upon like what you do mentally. Like, right. That's right. If you distress, you you have to handle the responsibilities and things. So you get paid for that, not that you lift um, how much you can lift and how fast you can move something. So uh -huh. you know, like and, and culturally, yeah, culturally it's like that. Like my grandmother used to say that, like her her, her description of somebody that was smart was somebody that worked hard. Mm -hmm. So it's like like my cousin, he would, he would cut the grass and do all kinds of stuff, hustle, do stuff. Oh, that boy's smart. That boy's smart. And but but. That's the mentality of right. trying to fight the stereotype of, right. of us being considered lazy, lazy. too. Mm -hmm. So you want to be working hard and this in this proud thing. So I mean, it's a lot. You got to balance all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what you see, you know. But, but what I see when people make money, though, people that really make real, For real, real, real money? real money, they don't do nothing. I mean, mm -hmm. and and it's not like you say like, well, those people don't do anything. Nah, but the the quality of like physical labor that they do That's is great. nothing. That's it is, right. It's based upon thinking this out, like. Like when you make a deal, like like I always tell people, like man, you ain't gonna never get rich working by the hour. Like you, wow, mm -hmm. man, they gonna pay right. me seventeen dollars right. an hour. I'm like, man, right. okay, so so do the calculations on that. Well, you could, but, but it's gonna take no, a lot of no, your no, 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 you're not. No. You can't. No. You can't because no. you well, yeah, that don't right. keep up. That does not keep up with how with, the money is going with the future. Right? And because inflation. I mean, all you, of that. You should you should you know think deal like I think like deals like okay, well I can do this for this amount of time because. When you when you start looking at the time you spend in doing certain mm -hmm. certain things, mm -hmm. and you killing yourself, because I got things where, okay, let's say a, a service I charge fifty dollars an hour for, right? And if I spend ten hours doing this, I just cut myself down to five dollars an hour, like, yes, right. and you can easily do that when you work for yourself because you. You, you ask, that's what keeps you efficient as that's well. Right. But yeah, that's you right. got to work smart. got to work smart. I agree. And you know, it's funny when you say that. Um, you, you made a comment. You said you can never get wealthy working by the hour. Or you said rich. And I like right. rich too because rich. Rich, rich stands for realizing I create happiness. Come on, rich. Right. I like that. Oh, hey, T-shirt. got some fun. T-shirt. Like, come on. T-shirt. So, so when we think about it, he said you can't get rich working by the hour. So this is what I want you to think about. There's only so many hours of the day. Right. And there's only so much work that you can do as it relates to your physical body, right? right, right. But money, come on, money. Money, money work working sleep. for you works while you're sleeping. <laughs> it doesn't get tired. It doesn't have a back. It ain't got no legs. It's not, it, it just doesn't get right. tired of working. So yeah. you can never get rich working by the hour. Don't get me twisted. You can work by the hour and then add some ancillary things like your investments in your portfolio and doing those things. Yes. Mm -hmm. But yeah, only, I mean, yeah, yeah. but only working by the hour will not work. Yeah, it's relative. I mean, it's relative. Now, some people, I mean, they make two hundred dollars an hour. Some people, I mean, I mean that's so cool. That's different. Like, but what I'm talking about, like, you know, what I'm talking about. Like, no, 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 that's real. <laughs> but your mom, but mom, if they working two hundred dollars an hour, 
paperwork that can hit with taxes. If you ain't got no strategy, you right. still got to have a strategy right. Right. regardless. Right. 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 So, yeah, I'm yeah. with you. I'm agreeing 100%. Yeah, because I, I look at like my son's worth the dimes. And I look at him like, man, look how much money. Like, look at all these miles. Here. I'm <laughs> glad you got And he just walk money. around, and, and he got people that do the work. But it's like, but his responsibility is higher. It's bigger. You know what I'm saying? The reason why he make the big money. So, I, I get that. I mean, yeah. It's all good, y'all. What's interesting about what, what both of you all said and, and keeping in line with thinking about the future, right? You know, regardless of if you are an hourly, if you're able to create your own deals, um, regardless of where you are within business or, or personally, mm -hmm. what's most important is that you're able to be fruitful, not busy. No, you see good. people all the time that, oh, I'm busy, man, how's life going? Busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I'm not. Like but you can be you can be busy grinding. doing nothing. Oh my I call, god! I call, I call like that being busy. Being mm. busy, being be busy, being busy. Right, man. <laughs> so, so think about it. Run down the list. Like, I was doing this. I was doing this. I'm like, oh. but, 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 but what did you accomplish? Right. Right. What fruit right. did you bear from right. that? Right? Right. right. And if you're and if you're in the hourly sense, you know, bearing your fruits, you can do that in a smart way if you're able to have discipline. But the point I want to get to with, with being productive, I mean, being fruitful over being busy all the time is if you're busting your butt hourly, if you're busting your butt to put deals together, you know, we even stress with the core bus always being on your grind and all that, but we're smart about it. Mm -hmm. We have to always be mindful that we can enjoy the process. That's right. Because when you can enjoy the process, you can actually see the fruits that you're going to bear for your business or for yourself. For example, if we do not take time to implement what Dr. Cash tells us or what Money Mall just talked to us about, if we don't slow down enough to actually take the words in and actually think about how that applies to our life and to our business, we're not gonna be able to water our own seeds. Mm -hmm. And we can become busy listening to this, mm -hmm. but what fruit will it bear? Right. When we, the three of us, when we leave, this has to bear fruit for us. And for us, that could be knowing that people are gaining information, so on and so forth. But whatever it is that we're doing, always make sure that you, you don't get too far into the grind. You don't get too far into the hustle. You don't get too far into what you're doing that you lose your 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 essence of self and you you're not able to see the goodness and see the fruits that you're bearing and actually enjoy what you're doing mm -hmm. well my mentor, my mentor would say you have to enjoy the journey you have to enjoy yeah. the journey yeah. and and but if you're so busy being busy yeah. you ain't, you ain't you'll never that. enjoy it yeah. and so to tie it back to what you brought up earlier Ma, what's, what's my clock we got about four or five minutes oh, no, man. Okay. We, we plenty of time, time. <laughs> alright cool I'll make it quick but to tie back and, and the reason I asked you earlier why do you think our mentality of working so hard is like that and you, you kind of hit it directly on the head when you said well when we, we were brought here as workers right mm -hmm. well you know even if you look at let, let's take that into a mentality. And Ma, Ma, excuse me, Money Ma and I have talked about this off air, but when you are forced into a place and forced into working over a period of time, our culture has a survival mentality. That's right. We don't have a live mentality. Mm -hmm. So when you're in survival mode, your body, your unconsciously, your mind, your spirit, everything is go, 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 go. I got to get, I got to get, step on toes, yada, yada, mm -hmm. yada, because... You're literally trying to survive. That's right. When you live and you know that your basic needs are taken care of, you know that your foundation is set, you know that you have a bright future, quote unquote, ahead of you, at that point you're able to relax a little bit more. Mm -hmm. It's like when you get your, all your housework done. You can finally sit down, mm -hmm. right? But we are so used to having a dirty house, quote unquote, we're in survival mode. That all we're doing is running around the house trying to clean up stuff and make yada yada yada. We mm. never can sit down and enjoy. Yeah, that, that's it. That's like what um, that's Eric Thomas was talking about. Like you know, people in the survival mode. He's like, you you, you got to survive. He's like, you around people like that. But he's like, I'm not even at the point. He said, like, I got you know, I'm living abundantly, mm -hmm. so I'm not. I, I don't. I don't. I'm not here to survive or strive. I'm here to right. thrive. I'm here to thrive. Thrive. Yeah. And, right. and, and provide. It's a different mentality. It's a yeah. different mentality. Like. 
if you're trying to survive, like anything somebody throw in front of you, it's like, well, it's like, well, man, we can go do this, 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 and that. You're like, yeah, okay, I can do that. But like, if if you are already straight, if you cool, like, like you really, you, you, mean, really, you, you, you look at stuff differently. Like you like, yeah. man, you know what? Nah, I'm, I'm cool on that. I'm mm-hmm. cool. I don't have to do that because I got other stuff going. And, and that's really where you want to be mentally, even when you're still trying to make it to the next there level. But, but, but what happens to people in survival mode, you're like, you're, you're, doing, you're, everything. Doing, you're, yeah. you're doing everything and you might do anything. You know what? You know what? From a business perspective, it kind of reminds me whenever you see a person and they're doing, uh, they doing teas and then they're doing shakes and then they then they mm-hmm. doing oh we're gonna go over here and do travel too you know right. so we're doing a hundred things right. now, and we're not focused on now, that and now, I'm not saying don't diversify yeah, now, now, here, now, I ain't saying that yeah, now, but you that, gotta that, get good at something that's an interesting that's an interesting thing because, yeah. Yeah. but let, let's let's, let's talk about the you, let's you talk know? about the mentalities behind that though yeah, right yeah, because yeah. people we are how you become a millionaire. Seven streams of income. Right. Yeah, but you got to right? do one People, first. I'm with, I'm with you. I'm agreeing with you. But I wanted, I'm, I'm just addressing it like, I don't want to place faults on people for doing that. And like you just said, but we got to get good at doing one first. Right. So what we've got to figure out is how do we get that point across without placing fault, but still putting enough foot in the butts to understand that this is for real. Right. It's not your fault that you've been taught that you have to have seven streams of income and do 96 jobs. And do them and, all at and, one time. Right, and do them all at one time and, and, and he, cut yards he, and work this and that, that, that. Okay, wait, 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 but, wait, wait. That concept, I'm, it's going to go right back. Because get, our addiction to our labor our is what it is. Our addiction to labor. The addiction to Ooh. the labor is making it to where we feel like the, stre- the seven streams of income has to be me working. That's not true. Right, right. Oh, yeah, right. Hey, man. You yeah, know what? Hey, you got some labor, man. <laughs> I need it's some an addiction. Work. Right. It's yeah. an addiction. It's like, oh, yeah, I, I, need, need, to, to, I need to go to work. Yeah. And because I need that seven streams of income, I'm going to find seven jobs. But, or I'm going to find seven things to go get my labor to do. But it's all, but it's wow. a part, part of it is. How about I get seven things? It's trying to find, <laughs> it's trying to, it, but I think that's what it is. Exactly what you said. Uh-huh. Exactly right there. Because what, what happens with the people moving from different things, because you're trying to find something that works. And sometimes you, you have to test this thing out. You have to find out. And just like you guys just said about the journey. Right. So, so that's right. part of the journey too, finding out like your name is finding out, being real truthful with yourself, like really right. examining I'm good at this, I'm, I'm not so good at this, I'm cool with this. Yo, I can, on my I journey, can do this every I day. I respond to answer calls before 10 a.m. I'm not fully awake and I don't make the best decisions before 10 a.m. I'm like, no, I'm, still, I'm angry. I don't feel like that. Oh, but, but, but you know that about yourself. I'll right. respond to 10 But this, this is the thing, though. This is the thing. It's when you're about about saying, yourself. though, Mom, and, and this is a valid point, it's because you have you said you have to examine yourself before you before you go do it to say, hey, I'm good at this, let me go do it. But what we're not doing many times is examining. We're not taking a look to say, does this fit my personality? Does, is this something that is, that I really want to do? And you have to remember that when you're in the marketplace and you're constantly, um, and this goes kind of back to the legal the the legal grind, when you're constantly marketing and promoting everything. Right. People just look at you like, oh, she right. do Here everything. We Here we go. Right? And it's like, oh, she got some, she's selling something else. What you got today? What you got today? You know, you want, you, just, business. <laughs> you want to be careful with that because people many times look for you to switch up. Yeah. And I don't want to well, say they look yeah. for you to quit, no, but they do, they, they do. They, they do no, they right? Do. Now, I will you. tell you this. There is yeah, a way a around that. Thing. Okay. If you are able, watch this. You drink Sprite? Mm. Yeah. You yeah. drink Coke? No, I don't drink Coke. You drink Dr. Pepper? No. Sorry. But you know them all, right? Yeah, absolutely. Everyone. Well, those are all different things. Mm-hmm. But it's all made by Coca-Cola. That's right. Coke. If you have, can properly brand That's right. and set up your business, these things are all possible. Mm-hmm. They're called separate things mm-hmm. within this is the good. same brand. So be mindful. But. Right. But, but it's, it's, about, it's, it's about it's about how you market those entities. Bang. You Bang. may never know Bang. that that I'm Let's in insurance, it. right? Exactly. You may never know that that you won't. But but I am. It's how you market it. You may be able to sell everything. You may be, you may travel a lot, but that don't mean you're a great job. You're a great sales. Right, right, right.